If you're not using this pattern, you're missing out. This video is brought to you by Jay Stockard. Learn how you can win a gift certificate at the end of the video. Start this pattern with some white Vivas thread, grabbing some 0.025 lead-free wire. Insert this into our bead, secure tightly, wrapping back towards the hook bend. Helicopter the excess free, and continue to the bend of the hook. Next, we'll create some eyes using some monofilament and a lighter. Alternatively, you can pick up some eyes that are pre-made in the links below. Once complete, you can paint and coat your eyes with some UV resin. We'll secure both eyes tightly to the back of our fly. Snip the excess furry, secure, and grab some crystal flash. Here I'm using pearl. Secure a single strand to the hook shank folding it over and wrapping towards the bend of the hook. Once complete, snip to length and grab a mallard flank. I like to use my scraps for this pattern. Pinch the mallard flank in your fingers and secure it to the back of the fly. Pull it to length and secure tightly, snipping the excess furry. Secure any tag ends and grab some loco legs. Here I'm using tan. We'll take a single strand, double it over, and form a knot. Measure it to length and secure it tightly to your hook shank, wrapping back towards the eyes. Once complete, snip off any excess and grab another leg. Secure tightly as before, wrapping back towards the eyes. Once again, snipping off any excess. We'll then grab some brassy wire. Here I'm using copper. Secure it to the head of the fly, wrapping back towards the hook. Once complete, we'll grab some thin skin. Here I'm using clear. Secure this to the underside of our fly, wrapping it back towards the eyes. Next, we'll grab some dubbing. Here I'm using a blend of reddish brown hair's ear, as well as some copper ice dubbing. Blend these together, form a dubbing noodle, and use this to create a body. Once complete, we'll brush it out, giving it a nice buggy look. Fold over your thin skin, secure tightly, snipping the excess free. We'll grab our wire and start to wrap it towards the head of the fly, being careful not to trap any of the fibers underneath. We'll secure it, taking wraps both behind, as well as in front of the wire, and helicoptering the excess free. Use a tan permanent marker to color in your thread and whip finish to hold everything in place. If you'd like to tie this fly, you can pick up all the needed materials from the Jay Stockard website listed below. Additionally, Jay Stockard has provided a $25 gift card for one lucky winner. To win, all you have to do is like the video, click subscribe, and comment hashtag Jay Stockard below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.